How you feel about doing a Lost in Translation reunion? Um, should be fun. I've been uh, kind of looking forward to it for a while. It's a lot of friends and just hanging out and having a good time. How'd you put it together? Uh, our vocalist Trey was the one who sort of organized it and he hit me up a couple months back and asked me if I'd play it and I said of course. What's today? Is it, That's a lot of ten. Yeah, it's a ten. So yeah, it's amazing you guys are doing reunion, man. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a long time since they played a show, so it's going to be rough, but we'll have a good time with it. It looks really bad right now. So what, uh, what's your current band right now? Uh, that would be As Thick As Thieves. Wow. So uh, this versus that, uh, how's that feel? Um, you know, As Thick As Thieves is a really, really different music, uh, but I like it and uh, have a good time with it. We're, we're getting some... We're, we're, we're having we're having a lot of fun with it. We're getting some really good experience. Well, that's good, man. So, how many shows have you guys done as Lost in Translation? Uh, I did. Show, hey, uh, what's third? I broke them like a month ago. Third one. On the set list. Publish master. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? What are you playing uh, yeah. the band? Vocals. Oh, uh, so how'd you put the band together? I was like, what, Isaac, when we put it together, with, you weren't in it at that point, but what was that like? No, two I booked and a half? it. I booked it, and that was the Arise and Fallen headliner. Was that, that was your first show? Two and a half years ago? Yeah. How'd you get the name? Um, I stole it from the movie. Masks comes after no. one pressure, right? What? Masks. Comes out of what? After one pressure. So, wait, how'd you get the name? Um... The old bassist will tell you it was an Of Machines show, or a song. Uh, I agreed to it because it was a Bill Murray movie, and I'm a huge Bill Murray fan. What song means the most to you? Um, uh, Asgard. What's the first song you wrote for the band? Uh, well, Batmobile was one of the Yeah, Batmobile in its original context was an old song from an old band. Um, first song we wrote is Lost in Translation was Myths. What, uh, what's it about? Uh... Scandalous Horrors. And when was your guys' first show ever? Uh, January 15, 2011. Wow. Yeah. Where was it at? Here. Nile upstairs. Am I signing this? Yeah, I'm signing this. Wow, that's, that must be amazing to do a reunion. Yeah, yes I am now. It'll be fun. What song you decided the most for playing? Uh, probably Asgard. What's your current band right now? I don't have one right now. Oh, uh, well, your old bands? Uh, it was pretty much just... Um, Once a Thief, there was a band called Fear For My Life who played two shows and then uh, lost in translation for like two years. Oh, could you put the name of your old bands on there too? Yeah. How'd you get the name of those bands? Um, I don't know about Once a Thief because I joined after like a couple months of them playing shows. Uh, but Fear For My Life was a line from a Day to Remember song and we used to jam that band all the time. Wow. Well, I'm glad you guys are doing a reunion. How's that feel? Uh, it's cool, weird, playing a bunch of songs none of us have played in a year and a half. Wow. Wow, it's amazing, man. Yeah, thank you. Glad you guys are doing a final show, man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, when was your first final show, man? First final show, we had, we've already had two final shows. That's so good. The first one was uh, January 21st. No, we didn't end up playing that. We dropped that one. No, no, no. Get Wet Fest 3 was, uh, or Get Wet Fest 4 was the official last one with me. And then you guys came back. We didn't play that one. We played, uh, it was, uh, no, you came back with Caleb. But it was, we didn't play the Get Wet Fest. We played the one before that. Um, God, you don't know who replaced you I don't remember what Sean called it. Whiteout. We played the Whiteout. The Whiteout was the last one. That was January 21st, 2012. Yes. Wow. And then we played, uh, another last show and we made another short run like September 10th, 2012. Wow. Yeah. And what musicians inspired you? Um, it changed throughout like the life of the band. First it was a lot of uh, the plot and you know, and stuff like that back when they were back when they were called uh, Vessels. They were called Vessels back then. Uh, and then it kind of turned into bands like Acacia Strain, Zabalba, shit like that kind of inspired me at that point. Same with you? Oh no, I am playing completely different style of music. He he's he's been uh 
I don't want to call him a temp player because he's played more base for us than pretty much anybody else, but he was kind of brought on as a temp at the start. No. Well, not at the start of everything, but like yeah. after we had drama with the original basis, he played for like five months or something with us. Wow. I did? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, it was it was actually a little less than that, but we played a lot of shows yeah. in those four months. It was crazy. It was. It was good times, too. And uh, what concerts changed your guys' life and made you want to be musicians? <laughs> We're not fucking insane. Like, right when the song starts, I'm smashing his light bulb, I'm hanging over. That's tough. Mine was probably... The one step ahead CD release show at the clubhouse when they played two stages and more in battle play. Fir no, first show, first metal-ish show I ever went to was uh, Chiodos from First Last, Every Time I Die, and uh, I trade you back when all those bands were super duper relevant. So that's what made me want to be a musician, especially uh, Every Time I Die. Still a huge fan of that band. Well, hey, thanks, man. I watched half of Thank you.